Hello, um, I thought today I would do a video showing um, some products that I really like. Um, I've seen lots of videos about uh, makeup bags and I thought that I would show some products that I really like. Um, I don't I have way too much makeup um, to show everything because I am a makeup artist by trade but I also show um, some fragrances and some skincare products as well um, so let's get started on that some of these have crinkly paper on them It's got the, the crinkly paper. This is the Studio Fix uh, powder by MAC. Uh, when I worked for MAC, this was probably the best seller out of everything there. Um, it's great, it's full coverage. It's pretty awesome, actually. Um, it normally comes with a powder puff underneath, um, but I prefer to use a brush. So I've taken the powder puff out of it, but it comes with a mirror. It's just a great, all-around awesome product, and this is actually a full coverage foundation. Like, you don't even don't even have to um, use liquid with it. It just stands alone as a great foundation. So it's pretty awesome. I also have my jelly beans here. So in case anyone's wondering what that's all about. It's my little noisy jelly beans. This is the fluid that pairs with the powder foundation that I just showed you. This is the uh, Studio Fix fluid and um, you can wear this under the powder if you want some serious coverage but it's a great standalone foundation. Like it's, it's a beautiful matte finish on its own. So this is also by Mac. I know <laughs> I've got a lot of Mac products, but uh, this is Strobe Cream, and it's just gorgeous show you. It's got pearlish, pearly pigments in it. And you uh, wear it under your makeup and it gives this pearly glow and it also glows through your makeup. It's just, it's gorgeous. And once you decide to start using this, it becomes really hard to use any other kind of moisturizer underneath your makeup. So I just really love this. Like I've used this for years and I've never strayed from it. It's always been my favorite. So it's great. Um, okay, this is a uh, Laura Mercier. Um, she is a genius <laughs> and she made um, what's um, called Undercover Pot and you can see that it's got two different kinds of concealer. Um, one's a little bit thicker like a putty and one's really thin and easy to smudge 
she's included a mirror in it and also you can twist the top and underneath there's a setting powder and that's just a brilliant thing it's a gorgeous idea and um, it really comes in great color selections also so I, I really like this it's, it's probably one of my top three favorite concealers and that's saying a lot so Laura Mercier Yet another foundation. Um, I really I like foundations. I feel like skin is the most important uh, feature when you're doing makeup. So um, this one's by Christian Dior. It's Dior Skin, and it's Forever is the name of the uh, foundation. This foundation is gives you gorgeous skin. Um, this is like. Uh, wedding skin. It's dewy. Uh, like gives you a glowy, almost dewy finish. And it's just amazing. I uh, use this for uh, proms or younger girls or any, like I said, anyone getting married. This is just um, amazing and flawless finish. Um, so I love that. is a little bit different. It's a palette um, and it's by Kat Von D, the tattoo artist. Um, this one's uh, actually, it's actually my favorite palette that she makes. She makes quite a few palettes um, and they're all awesome to me. Like I've used all of them. They all come with um, a mirror. They also come with little brushes which I never use the brushes that come along with makeup products I just don't feel that they're adequate but um, you can see that uh, it gives you eight colors some of them are matte and some of them are frosty it's just a lot of variety for the price I think I paid like in the average of 20 something ish dollars for it and uh, that's amazing for eight colors so and they, they have great um, staying power and great amount of color pigmentation. It's just great on these. So, love that. Okay, another Laura Mercier. Um, this one, it's her Silk Cream Foundation. This is the foundation I use when I'm putting on makeup in the car. Not that I should be doing that, <laughs> but this is quicker to put on. Um, it glides on and it's got this easy squeeze tube. And it's got great coverage too. It goes pairs pairs really well with her concealer pot that I just showed you. I, I love this. This is one of the first Laura Mercier products I ever bought. I just really like it a lot. Okay, back to a MAC product again. This is the Viva Glam 5 lipstick. This is so universal. Anyone can wear this color. I mean, it's a gorgeous color. And this is in the Viva Glam series, which uh, gives money to AIDS Foundation, the MAC AIDS Foundation. So every time you buy this, you can kind of feel good about buying it, um, besides the fact that it's amazing color. Um, anyone, any skin shade can wear this. Uh, Literally any 
age, age, race. I mean, anyone can wear this. It's just beautiful. Another Kat Von D product that I really like um, is her primer. Um, I was married to another primer that I really loved. Um, I always used the, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then one day uh, I saw this and I bought it. And I just love this primer. And there's just... Uh, something about it, it's smoothability and it's ability to keep your eyeshadow from creasing and it keeps your eyeshadow on a long time. Like it's just, it's really great. I, I mean, I, I can do a commercial for this product. I love it so much. So. This is my favorite pink blush. Uh, it's made by Smashbox. Um, when I'm using a peachy blush, I usually go to NARS Orgasm like every other girl does. <laughs> but um, for my pink, I just love this Smashbox. It's uh, called Radiance. And uh, it's got a little built-in mirror in the back. How cool is that? Like, I love this. Color. I mean, I don't have a whole lot to say about it, except for that it's just a really great pink color, and I just love it. Love, love, love. So. Okay, this is also a MAC product. It doesn't look like one because it's uh, from one of their limited collections. But it's the golden bronzer, and it's just, you see that I've worn it out. Like, I probably have three or four of these golden bronzers, and they probably all have been worn out that much. That's just, I love them. They're so great. Um, it's great for contouring, and it's also great for just all over glow when your foundation looks too light or ready or not just not pretty uh, put a, a nice dousing of this bronzer on it and it just makes all the difference in the world really okay so I recommend that every girl have this in her bag serious stuff right here This is my favorite concealer. It's the Select Cover Up. Um, I use different concealers for different uh, for different things. Um, this is my go-to concealer for um, under eyes. Like I have one I use for blemishes, or one I use just for shadowing and highlighting. And this one is my go-to for under eye because it's so thin, it's as close as you can come to natural skin. I guess it's, it's great. Um, select cover-up. That's what that is. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay. Um, hello. Best mascara ever made. Um. Dior Show Mascara. I know a lot of ladies that love this mascara. I don't think I'm alone in this one. Um, it's really got a big fat brush and it, um, it just really super elongates your lashes. Like it's, this one is a lighter color, uh, maybe a dark brown, but the blackest black one is the one that I would say is my favorite. And it's just amazing. This is kind of, um, this looks like one of my older ones, but this brand is just everything that the Christian Dior makeup line is amazing in itself. But this product right here, I just, 
I, I can't think of any mascara that I would pick over this one. So. This is Max Gel Liner, the version of liner that MAC has put into a gel, and you would use this with a brush, um, usually an angled brush or a pointy straight brush, and uh, put it on, make a wing liner, or just, any, you can do anything with this really, and it's great. Okay. I had a lot of palettes to choose from to put in this video and this is the one I chose from Lancome. Um, it's their purples. Let's see, it's called uh, Color Design and it's uh, this is the purpley one. It's got everything you need um, to do a full eye. Got a mirror and it comes with the little brushes. It's got a highlighter, one that you can use for a liner, um, lid color, a crease color, and then a blending shade. So it's got the whole package if you need to take it with you to fix your makeup when you're out somewhere or something like that. So it's pretty good. Okay, more thing in the makeup bag. This this is by NARS and it's um, Chelsea Girls is the name of the color and it's these little gloss pots that NARS makes and they have a lot of good colors but I like this Chelsea Girl one because it's a neutral um, really pretty neutral pink. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's just really wearable. And these are not um, that weird kind of thin shine gloss. These are thick enough to wear as um, a lipstick almost. Like you can wear it with nothing else but maybe a liner. I don't really like those. Okay, I don't have any more makeup that I really wanted to show, but I'm um, just going to show a few of the fragrances. I was carrying this one around for a while. It's the Burberry Brit, and it um, comes with the roller brush that you can take in your purse with you. That one smells really good. Um, one of my favorites. Um, another favorite perfume of mine is this um, Lolita Olympica. It's like a little apple. <laughs> Isn't that just the cutest? And it's got these leaf designs all over it. It's purple little apple. Just the bottle itself draws you in. I mean, it's super cute. But um, the stem is the sprayer. It's just, it's just the cutest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. It's just, it just smells amazing. Um, a co-worker of mine used to smell so great uh, when she came in and I'd ask, what are you wearing? And this is what, this is what she was wearing. So I went out and bought it and I just, I love it. It's great. looking avocado color tint to it and um, I'm usually not big on masks but I used this mask um, on my shoulders I had a breakout in my upper back and shoulders 
And I used this mask not expecting a whole lot and it cleared it right up so I thought well that's good I don't I don't usually have great reviews to say about skin products from Lush um, they smell great but I, and normally I'm not that impressed with their skin care but this was awesome uh, I actually got this my sister bought this for me for a gift and I'm really I'm glad she did because it's one of my favorite products now, so. Another favorite is the Poetic Waxing. It's the uh, at-home waxing kit from Bliss. Uh, Bliss Spas makes it. in this little cup you can see I've used it it's, it's really gorgeous and the color of the wax is it's this marbly glittery blue color it's really beautiful and it's got a scooper stuck in it where the wax dried but you can see that um, you heat it in the microwave and it melts just beautifully it doesn't take any time at all to melt and then you stir it with the stirrer. And it comes with a few spatulas. Um, and it comes with the pre-oil that you put on before, and then you put it on again afterwards. So And then this is the cleanser that they recommend that you use with it. I didn't use it with it, um, not any particular reason, I just didn't, and it still came out fine. I didn't have any bumps or any problems. <laughs> Sorry if you hear my dog in the background, he's upset that he's not in on this video. Um, let's see, and these are um, pads for um, ingrown hairs. To keep from having any troubles. And that's pretty much it. I, I don't know if I'll do many videos like this. Um, uh, it just depends on how I feel about it when I watch it back. But uh, if I had any requests for any, I've only had a few. Um, subscribers but I've already gotten a couple of requests so um, if I get any requests for any more like this then I can definitely I have plenty of products to do it with <laughs> so thanks for taking the time to watch this video I really appreciate it